I am Tukur. Hello, Tukur. How are you all? Is there any questions at this time? We yes. do not have any particular message for you at this time, except that we are keeping as many out of harm's way during these drastic storms as possible. The other thing that we might report is that the West Coast, all the way from Alaska to Chile, is being highly observed for seismic activity. We are helping it as much as possible. We do not want to affect the future in any way. But you see, if the earthquake comes, it will negatively affect the future for you. And if, it, if we can hold it off or make it much less, it will not affect the future as badly. You understand these things. We do not know what the future is, but we know the, the feeling of it. And so, therefore, we are trying to help you through this. Thank you so much. Is there much any for questions? Coming. Yes, we have a question from Maria, who is unable to make it in today. Very she well. asks, What is the role of the heart? Hold on just a second here. What is the role of the heart expansion in ascension? What is the role of the heart? Yes. It is to be true to the person. It is to be true to the love of God. It is to be true to the things of your nature, of third dimension. I do not know how to explain it any better than to connect your brain and your heart together and let it rule your life. And know exactly who you are and push yourself forward. That is your role. The ascension is essential. But if you do that, you will definitely be part of it. Thank you so much. And does someone in the room there with you want to ask a question? Can we ask them? Is there someone here? Yes. Come Barbara, to me. Barbara here. Do you have any information or any anything that you can tell me right now during this time for myself? Uh, about your life? Yeah. You you will be going through changes soon with the loss of a, a an animal. A cat. Yes. Um, but this will help you to understand that the spirit of this animal was actually helping you to survive as well. They've taken on some of your illness, just so you can feel better. Did you know that? They love you so much. They are taking part of your emotional feelings, because you are not always happy. And you sometimes are around them and they feel your sorrow, so they take that on for themselves. And because they want you and need you to live longer, because there are things that you must experience in this lifetime that you have not yet experienced. And that is, one of those things is a true joy experience. And that will come. Now she in a lot of... No. She has just taken on some of the emotional life that you live and taken on some of the things that are excessive for you. There are times when things are just too much. She has taken the overflow of that. She loves you. And when she leaves, she will take those negative things, her, but not in a way that is negative. She will expand herself. Do you understand that? Yes. Much love to you. You have many visitors around your house. Can I ask you for the name of the one visitor in the woods? 
Susperica. Susperica. Yes. He is the reptilian in your woods. Write that down so you will remember it. Is there other questions? Yes, there is. We have one from Sabrina. And right now, Sabrina is in Colombia, I'm sure you know. I am aware. And she has a very important question. She very says, good. There are people dying in the north coast of Colombia. For what reason are they dying? Due to a lack of rain, they are starving. Ah. Uh, Can they yes, make I it rain? Can they make it rain after the fifth? 13th of February One in moment. the whole north coast of Colombia or before in two towns there will be rain come before then oh thank you so much they are in so much need there will be rain before the 13th of February oh, wonderful we will send it the people the ships that are around the South American continent will be notified. I am sure they are aware of the situation, but there is sometimes very difficult procedures to make it rain in an area where the clouds dry up so quickly. Continue. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, we have another question from someone who couldn't make it into the room. This is Liliana. Greetings. Okay, it's your question is, what is up with me in the colonies? Can you tell her? <laughs> I'm not sure. The question is stated a little bit strangely, but I believe that she does go to the col. Liliana, you do go to the colonies. You have not remembered much, I know. But we are working on that with your governments. It will not, it will, we will never stop working with your governments to make your experience of the colonies greater as time goes on. Even though we have not been successful at this time, we vow to be successful soon. And you are going to Colony One. And you are learning about the uh, telepathic abilities that you acquire already have yes oh just I know that we have announced this just to make everyone aware there is a sixth colony being created and that is for healing all kinds of energy healing capacities it's to be taught and to be have people use their abilities and strengthen their abilities and also this will give us an idea what things work for the galactic Reiki for a third dimension. We are, the Arcturians are trying to decide if galactic Reiki will be as effective on the third dimension. And this will help us to understand a little more about third to fourth dimensional galactic practices with energies. Oh, Any thank other you questions? so much. Yes, we do. This one is from Juggertron. Yes. He says, Hello, Takur. Have I received any Lyran or other DNA infusions since requested one month ago? And do you recommend any? Thank you. The Lyran, you will, since we did not speak about it, but we are aware that you asked for it, 3% Lyran has been given to you. Now, that is in addition to the 2% Lyran that you already have in your system. So you will now have 5% Lyran in your hybridization. It should increase your muscle tone and make you a little clearer in your thought processes. It will raise your IQ perhaps one to two points at this point and um, there will be other benefits with communication and things of that nature. Your confidence should increase as well. Not that that needs to increase, but it should increase anyway. 
there are things about you that Liren is inter interesting that you would ask that also because it does actually stimulate hair follicles. We have done some research. It does work with some and not with others. We we're hoping that it will work with you. Thank you so much. Yes. You're welcome. Sheer, would you like to go next? Yes. How are you, Tiku? I am wonderful. Thank you, Sheer. Um, I want to ask if there's um, a date for the meeting with the government. 22nd of February. I see. Um, did you pass my message, um, a message to the Elohim? Would they come? Yes, they are coming. That is only a tentative date. It could change to the 24th. But those are the two times that they have mentioned to us, the 22nd. And if that doesn't work, then they will move it to the 24th. There are other things happening on your planet, and they do want to speak to us, but there are priorities, of course. I see. And will the Elohim will speak with the Israeli government about me? They will speak what they need to speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I want to ask you about a dream that I had be uh, between the 25th and the 26th. Um, I was chasing some shady character on a, on a mountain. It seems like a Bible-like mountain. And when I reached to the top, I saw a lion, and I kind of freed him. And he seemed very pleased with that. And just want to know if there was any meaning to it, because I had a lot of dreams lately, every day. And it's not yes. something I used to do. This dream is about chasing down evil and trying to get rid of it. And the lion represented God. But in your life, your goal in life is to help with the government's help with the alien contacts, help with all the different things that are good, that you feel that are positive on the earth. And that's, that is why you were chasing the, the darkness up the mountain so that God could eliminate it. Okay, I see. Uh, thank you. Any messages for me? Not at this time. Except that your messages are being passed along and your words are being heard. They are not falling on deaf ears, but the time for action is not yet. But you will have your opportunities. Thank you. Okay, Neil, would you like to go next? Thank you. Yeah, hello, Tikal. This is Neil. Hello, Neil. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Excellent. Okay, um, I want to ask you about uh, Elohim infusion that I requested a while ago. Yes. Yeah, what's happening with that so far? They have approved 7% Elohim infusion. That is their percentage. Always everyone gets 7% unless they ask for more. I think... Nivi and Sheer have 10%. But also, they have approved you for 7%. It has not started yet because we have not gotten back to you in a formal way to let you know how it's going to be, proceed. Okay, so, so do you want to do that just now or should that be done at a different time? They will begin it on Thursday of next week. Okay, excellent. Okay, and one other infusion that I'm interested in is a lupine infusion. Could you tell me what the pros and cons are of like a lupine infusion? Well, that is part of the canine also. The lupine and canine are very similar. It will give you a heightened sense of smell, it will give you greater eyesight and uh, clarity. 
There are other things as well. But at this time, let them do the Elohim first. Okay, that's understood. Okay, that's that's everything for today. So, okay, very thank well. you very much, Dika. I love you so much. Thank you. I love you very much. I love you all. Just thank you. Oh, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Is there anyone else in the room with you that might have a question? Can we ask? Yes. Hi, Barbara again. Am I still visiting the colonies and how am I? You visit the colonies, but not often. You are not often feeling well enough to go. But when you are feeling well enough to go, you do go to Colony 1 for the telepathy. Your experience with the Holy Fire Reiki Asui has changed a, a lot of what is happening in, to, in your system, and it is actually better than it was before. And But more in a mental state than in a physical state. And you are in more enlightened now. And you feel a closeness to certain people because of this. And um, it is a beautiful thing. What is my vibration? I know it's not important. <laughs> 4.25. No, not a lot. But it has gone down some because of the, the physical ailments. Okay. But it will come back up soon. Yakawata. I'm sorry, I had to communicate for a moment. Continue. Oh, that was great. Um, I have a question from Slava. Ah, Slava. Not in the room, Slava. yes. Slava. Yes. He says, hello, Tikur. I would like to ask for my mother. Recently, she more, she was more in more than one dream with spaceships. I would like to ask, how is she doing in the colonies? Would you suggest Excellent. any DNA infusions for her? Perhaps Excellent. you could speak with... Excuse me. Perhaps you could speak with her personally in the colonies about DNA infusions, especially will. which will help her with her health and development, her potential. She, Liren would help her much with her physical being. And her, usually with Liren, the um, immune system gets better as well. So, yes, I will speak to her about that when she comes to the ships. She has been to three of the ships already. I do not know if she remembers speaking to me, but she did speak to me on one occasion. And she spoke to Dee's Do, and she also spoke to other people in uh, another ship. Around the Russian area. She spoke Russian with one of the aliens that was there. And oh, she's cool. been doing very well in the colonies. She, her child is being born soon, but it's not yet born. She has a Lyran child on the way. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, we have another question from Carolina. Greetings, Caroline. Hello, Dika. How is your mother doing? She's much better, thank you so much. You're welcome. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Good. Um, Dika, I have a question. Um, I've been told that a city Gray is contacting me. Um, would you be able to tell me who it is and uh, what does he want, please? There is a, did you say a, a gray, a zeta gray? Yes. One moment, please, and we will find out for you. Kwakashunso, Wekitia. Nekiako. He has been around you more than once. He's been around you for many years, actually, off and on, not continuously. His name is Perquak. 
Pequak. Pequak. That is the nearest pronunciation I can give you. Is, is he uh, a, a good entity? He is not trying to harm you in any way. Okay. He, he does monitor your thought processes. He finds you a little eccentric. <laughs> but that is all right. You are a wonderful person. But he okay. likes, likes your quirkiness. Okay, okay. And uh, Pequek is also a sociological teacher on his world. He teaches okay. social graces, I guess, would be the best word. And okay. so, therefore, he is teaching them about humanity. You are not the only person that he visits. And that is why he visits humans every now and then to observe for two hours or three hours at a time so that he can teach properly the response to some actions. Oh, right, okay. Well, uh, he's welcome then. I've been seeing some images that he sent me, I think. Yes, and this is to get your reaction on your mental reaction on these images. They uh, they do uh, listen to your thought processes whenever they bring these things into your head. Oh, thank you so much. I have another question. Yes. If it's okay. Um, I've I've been thinking about requesting another infusion. Um, so can you tell me if that's advisable for, for me? Um, an, an infusion that would help me clear my throat chakra. Your throat chakra? Yes. Yes, there are those, there are um, several that work with communication and throat chakras. Fendorian is one because it ignites the kundalini and that is the throat chakra is part of that. Okay. Because that I, would I, be the one I would request, because it does brighten all the chakras as well. Oh, brilliant. Well, I have found Dorian already. Maybe could that be increased a little bit then? What percentage do you have at this time? I think it's 6%. One moment. It will be taken under advisement. We will let you know. Oh, thank you so much. Um, You're welcome. Before they believe that another 4%, raising you to 10%, might be a good idea, and it would help with the throat chakra, but they, are, they have to check you out first. Oh, brilliant. Well, yes, I'd, I'd like to. Thank you so much. Um, be, before I go, I have a question from my brother, if that's okay. That is fine. He requested to visit the spaceship. Has he been to the colonies? Not yet. Okay. We, have to, we will get in touch with him in a dream state, and then he will come to the spaceship. But oh, that okay. will not be for probably a couple weeks yet. Okay, that's, that's brilliant. Thank you so much, the care. I love you. I love you as well. Yep. Okay, we have Sarah next. Sarah, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you, Takar. There are um, I have a... Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. I just I had to speak to you personally and privately at some time. There are things that have come up that we need to speak to you about. But continue. Okay, yes, please. please. Well, that's one, and the other is I wanted to know how the children are doing on the colonies, and I believe I spoke to mine, the, the hyper children, with yes. Rock the other night. I just want to make sure they were able to connect to me. They were able to connect to you brilliantly, um, and you are so loving and good with them, and you tone for them occasionally. <laughs> It is a beautiful thing. It gives them an awareness of who you are. I'm happy to know. 
Very good. Thank you so much for that. You're and welcome. And also, I was wondering, what am I doing on the colonies, if anything? You are actually doing several things. You are helping us with uh, some ideas about the Reiki colony, uh, or the the healing colony, I should call it. Some humans call it the Reiki colony, but it is more mm -hmm. of a, more healing modalities than just Reiki. But you have been to the channeling area because that is the next yeah. step in your in your evolution. Yes. And so that's where Thank you've you. been twice, um, the last two times. The last two times. Do you know when that was? The 6th and the 12th. On the 12th, okay. And um, I wanted to ask, well, it, it just seems like here on Earth, we've been kind of stuck, like, a lot of us energetically. Yes, the energies of the earth and it are still really hasn't moved so much. Yes, the energies of the earth are really still moving quite strongly at some places. Um, we are noticing that they were supposed to come down by the middle of December, but they have not. Due to the the wobble and the the uh, the the axis being off, there is still much disturbance all, all over the earth on the energies. Mother Earth is in control, however, she is letting them do what they need to do. We'll put it that way. Yes, does this have something with the, uh, kind of like the Stargate that we just went through recently? Like yes, the, um, the stargates are all, there were many stargates that were damaged throughout time on your planet, and now they are starting to be fixed and be useful again, but they their usefulness will not come into uh, fullness until the first contact comes. Okay, also, well. the Thank skulls you. that control the the uh, stargates have not been aligned yet. Would I be needed for that situation? You will be needed eventually for that situation, but at this time, there is nothing happening. Okay, very well. Thank you very much. Much love. You're welcome. Okay, we have Nabila. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? I'm doing very well. Wonderful. Nabila, you can go ahead then. Okay, thank you. Hi, Tucker. Hello, Nabila. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. That's good. Um, my first question is on a being named Unasaka, and I was wondering if you could give me a bit more information on him. What is it you wanted to know? You um, know some things about him already. Yes, just a anything that I missed out that he hasn't told me. Hmm. Let me see. I'm trying to see what he has already told you. Okay. Um, he's. Did you know that he is an ascended master from his planet? No, I didn't know that. He is a very wise person. He has been ascended, and now he is back into another form. But his wisdom is great. You already know these things. Right. Um, he is looking, he is also a protector of you. Did you know that? No. He is also, may be one of your spirit guides in the future. Did you know that? Nope. Okay, there's some things I was able to tell you. <laughs> Thank you. And my second question is, um, if could, if Tepe could do a body scan for me? Yes. yes. And what Thank is you. it that you would want him to look at? My, like, chemical levels. Ah, have you have chemical imbalances? 
Yes. We will take care of that. An infusion okay. will be given if you, they find, is it a hormonal? Yeah. That is what he just said. He has already knew that. So, um, very well. Um, they will do a scan later in the evening when you are sleeping because you have not, they can't do it while you're moving. <laughs> okay, then. Thank you. Much love. Very well. Okay, Randy, would you like to go? Yes, thank you. Hi, Chakur. I send you my love and my gratitude. No. Um, I also wanted to check to see how the children and the, the hybrid children and the parents have been doing. Um, I feel like I've been visiting. Yes, you have. Um, Many of you have been visiting the children and your pair, your um, children's parents. Mm -hmm. And also some of you have just been coming to the nursery to help with taking care of the children. There are so many hybrid children at this time. It yeah. is There are several nurseries at this time, more, more than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> there is at least seven nurseries that wow. we are taking care of, and there is several other nurseries that are being taken care of by Kinjean and Era. Yeah. And so it is a very fertile time. Yes, I feel an influx of, of births. Yes, there is a lot. And they are beautiful. And they yes, are proving yes. that they are very... Their, their immune systems are quite stable and greater than any that we have seen in the galaxy. Yes, I feel that as well. Um, I'm glad to hear about the healing colony. Yes. As I, I feel like I've been spending some time there. That seems to be an, uh, an interest with me as well. Yes, you're helping us design and dis decide how it should be run. Oh, okay, thank you. There Can you tell me a little bit? One, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. More, more than one modality will be taught and used on the Healing Colony, Joe Ray, um, many other things, Reiki, uh, I... I'm at a loss for so many different kinds. They will be using acupressure and acu acupuncture and many yes. other things. I feel, yes, I do feel that we've been um, learning about all of that together, uh, all yes. of those modalities and using those um, in conjunction with each other as well as individually. Yes. Um, can you tell me at this time any more about um, my DNA uh, infusions? Um, I'm feeling a great deal of energy that will happen, yes. Which one are you having at this time? Well, I'm not sure. I was wondering if you could tell me about that. We weren't able to discuss it the last time. Um, I do feel a lot of new energies, and I was wondering if maybe you could tell me a little bit about that. Is it related to my DNA? It is an infusion of some sort, but I do not have that information right in front of me. But which ones did you ask for? And I, Well, I'll ask, I'll ask to Pat. Just a moment. Okay. Wait, I'll call what? Tension, did you have Lirin yet? Um, I believe I had requested that, yes. And I believe that's what's making you energetic. Okay. Yes, do you feel like your muscles are stronger? Yes, I do. It is the Lirin that increases the body tone. The muscle system, um, it... Uh, Activates yes, hair follicles, yes, but I feel um, more agility. Yes, and your uh, hair is growing faster. Yes, actually, but, thank you for t thank you for validating that. I woke up the other morning and I thought my hair was like two inches longer. <laughs> yes, your hair is growing faster at this time. Um, but yes, there is many things happening with the Lyran, and it will continue to. Uh, work through your system. It will be all be very positive for you. Can you tell me anything about the Elohim? Um, my connection with them or my DNA? The Elohim is a spiritual community. Yes. A collective, if you will. And they are from God, but not on the same level as God. They decided to move out of his realm so they could help other realms eat more easily. Yes, I feel but very they connected. are of God, yes. And they are connected to you in the sense that you are 
a spiritual being in past lives, in the sense that you are not from the oversoul necessarily. I would have to check on that. I see, and I do. Want, I, I understand. I believe that was explained to me a little bit by you before. Very well. And can you tell me recently with the what we call the wolf full moon and the current alignment of the, the planetary alignment, which is uh, yeah. a little bit rare for us right now, I feel this influx of like portals opening and closing as if I'm a part of this idea of the key of these gates being opened and closed. And can you tell me, well, I, I felt this influx yeah. of energy last week. There are some species that uses the portals for communication. And when it, it is like, somewhat like your tel, telegraph system, they will open and close portals and send messages to the other side of the galaxy when they cannot communicate due to solar storms and things of this nature. So therefore, yes, many vortexes and powerful energy fluxes have been felt by your planet along with the Earth energies. I see. So yes, you are probably receiving some of the messages from very far out in the galaxy. Okay, thank you. I woke up feeling um, I received a, a great number of new star written languages and I felt as if I was being contacted, as if a gate had opened, and I was just curious and about I that. Explain the communication portion, yes. Okay, yes. Thank you for validating that. Thank you. Is there anything else for me? Not at this moment. Okay, Takar, thank you. I'll speak to you again soon. Thank you so much. Johannes has a quick question. If you can. Hello, Tikur. Hello. Thank you for being here. Uh, my question is about my uh, hi hybrid child, Seb. Uh, how yes. he's growing. And if I have any more. He's growing very quickly. His eyes have changed to blue, a shade of blue. I remember that when he was born, he would, his eyes were very dark, but now they're lighter. And so that is an, one development in his his time since we've spoken. Also, he has grown some hair on the shoulders and the the back, which is unusual for that to happen. But still, he is a beautiful child, very intelligent, scientific. His interest is in science. He brings uh, much curiosity to that area, asks many questions, and has actually been helpful with some small discoveries. Okay, what, on what, his own, of course. What's his now? They've already been discovered in other places, but these are his own personal discoveries, and which makes them very important. Okay, cool. Uh, what is his uh, his DNA? Um, like, what's his mix? Oh, you aren't aware? No, uh, I'm not sure. I well, human, of course, part of it. He is human, and you yell. You yell. Okay, that's cool. Uh, my second question is: um, uh, from from what star system do I? Uh, come from. I have a feeling I'm still att attached to the Charles Vane for some reason, and I find it on my arm also. Charles Vane, if that tells okay. you anything. Yes. Or yes, I understand what you're talking about. Continue. My question was uh, if if I'm sort of having the right feeling that I'm somewhere from from that kind of star system because I have it printed on my right arm that. Yes. That specific veins. Yes, you are also from an Andromeda system as well. Okay. There's many Andromeda systems. If you if you check, there's Andromeda one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. And small Andromedas and big Andromedas and 
many galaxies called Andromeda. But you are from Andromeda for that That's galaxy cool. as well. That's cool. Uh, two quick last questions. I had a dream, I think it was like last week, and it was this huge wave uh, water, like huge. Uh, I went through it, everything went fine, and I ended up on the back side of it, but it was so huge, and this dream was very, that, that dream talked to me to me a lot, and so I just yes. want... It's telling you this, that there are things in your life that are coming that will be that'll be disturbing and seem like they would be very destructive. However, if you maintain your cal a calm head and a positive attitude, you'll make it through and there will be no problems. It will just seem like as it's coming, it's going to be it's going to wipe you out or destroy something, but it will not. Yeah, that's what I <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. Uh, one quick last question. Do I have any past lives in a secret societies here on Earth? Because I have memories of it. A past life in a secret society, yes. Would it be the Illuminati? If I told you, I would have to eliminate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, that's all. Thank you much, love, and love you all. Thank you. Very well. Thank you so much. Christine would like to ask a question, if she could, please. Yes. Greetings and blessings to her. Can you ah, love. Yes. Um, can I have another um, infusion to my hands? There. Um, I had a fall, and I think I pulled something in my arms because of my arthritic wrists or hands or something. So. Very well. Within 24 hours, while you sleep tonight, we will try to get an infusion in. If not, it will be two nights from now. Okay, I appreciate that. Much love. No, not a problem. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Tiffany. It. Is it time okay. for me to go, or are there more questions? We have um, a couple more, if you have time. I do have time. I was checking to see if you had time. Yes. Um, Harris would like to know about his hybrid children, if that's possible. Harris, beautiful. One moment. I'll have to check with Tepet. The, the information is not in front of me for these children that are being checked on. But his children are doing fine, according to Tepet. There, the one is interested in astrology, interesting, and travel, travel into the universe. Very interested in traveling in the universe. So that is an interesting and wonderful thing. And also, the other one is interested in engineering and building, creating architecture and engineering. That is all for now. Okay. We have a message from Karen. Yes. And she would Karen just Newman. like to say, yes, Karen Newman. She yes. says, I love you and I appreciate your dedication to teaching us. I would also ask if you would lead us in sending a healing to Jim to help with his eyesight. I know I speak for everyone when I say we all love Jim and we w and you, and we would appreciate you sending healing, blessings, and much love. Thank you, Karen. There is not much that we can do for his eyesight without bringing him here. But we can pray, and that is always very helpful. And so we will do, and we have done many things to help him with his eyesight. It is just that it is a matter of destiny with what is going to happen with that. But I thank you and understand that 
where you are coming from in the sense of your love and desire to help. We would love to help him as much as anyone. But and the only way that we could heal his eyesight is to bring him here, and that is not permitted. However, we are praying for him and have many people praying for him as well. Thank you so much. Oh, we appreciate that. We appreciate you coming here today and spending the time with us and helping everyone to answer the questions. Thank you so, so much. Most appreciated with very much love to you. We will love you very much and wish only the best for the human people. Thank you so much. Can we bring back Jim now? Wonderful. I will do that. Namaste. Thank you. Much, much love. love. Much love to Kerr. Thank you. Namaste.